Hello everyone, I'm Filip Monilov and welcome to another Tea Tuesday. In this video I'll be finally drinking some tea. I haven't been recording videos like this for a while and I will just briefly talk about the channel and how is it going for me I guess maybe just cover a little bit what this channel is about what I why am I filming things the way I'm doing them and just around the topic maybe anything that comes to my mind related to this I'll be covering so as you can see I am right now sitting in some place which is a Tate Modern I'm sat on a deck which is I would like kind of the ground floor and uh, it's like a bridge in the middle and we are seeing the magnificent structure of this place I just thought this is a for some reason the sound from the mic cut out at this point and I was just saying that that modern is a good place to be filming this T video and also that it is quite busy on this day but this is how it turns out it's a bank holiday, so probably everyone is just everyone is just uh, turning up from here and just spending their time with their families, which is a good thing. So here I'll be drinking the Puer tea, which I actually recently got from some Chinese shop nearby, and uh, I would say it's a relatively simple tea that just like for every day. It's a Shu Puer. I will show you up close a little bit later on. And yeah, I didn't, oh, I just spilled a bunch. Anyway, so this isn't some special tea or anything too outstanding, but it's just a nice tea to be drinking for every day. Yeah, and it's pretty good, I would say. I already tried it, obviously. So do a little shake, then we'll wash the tea as usual. And to begin with, I will probably say thank you everyone for watching the content that I'm producing. I'm really glad you uh, stay tuned and uh, following the channel if you're not subscribed yet feel free to subscribe I think it's just a great sign of your support to me and I'll carry on doing the work that I'm doing I, it just inspires me even more to be posting more interesting content but yeah that's thanks for everyone that you're here and uh, just to begin with I will start talking why why am I making this channel I would say initially I just had lots of things going on and I thought they were quite interesting in my life like some of the projects that I'm doing, the creative processes that I'm being involved in, they're just a really good way and I just thought it's an interesting part of the life that I currently live and the lifestyle that I experience and everything that I do. One moment. Yeah, just double check if the microphone was working and as I was saying why am I filming this I'm just capturing all the processes that I'm doing and lots of design things I'm currently just exploring the creative aspects and I just think as humans we should always be creating and I guess it's a genuine natural definition or trait that we possess And leaving it aside, doing some repetitive things is not gonna expand our minds in a way they should be probably expanded and used for. I, I, I'm just going on a tangent a little bit, but I just think it's always important to explore your ability to be creative in all sorts of fields. Doesn't, it's usually unlimited. I would say, yes, you can specify in one particular area, but I guess here I'm trying to show that it doesn't have to be limited in one particular area. The creativity is a 
multifaceted skill and it can be applied to literally everything. And this is particularly why I'm making a lot of different types of videos. So I'm just doing videos visiting castles. I'm doing the exhibition visiting videos as well. And just like seeing different ways that the creativity has been used. It's almost like an exploration of creativity and exploration of creative processes, different techniques, and just various interesting things that exist in this world because I always mention that it's really important to stay curious and never, never lose interest for life. Yeah, and um, the tea that I'm drinking is actually really good. I probably should have brewed it a little bit stronger because I usually, I usually wait for it to kind of open up. But yeah, st still, regardless, really good. And I did some research before kind of, before even doing the YouTube or even like just at the beginning, what kind of stuff you should be posting and whether you want to choose a particular niche, do the thing that you're interested in and so on and so on. I just personally think that I really don't care about the niche aspect. So you will see probably some content that is completely out of the blue that it's really just not related to anything else that I've done on this content. This is kind of how I view it anyway. It's a bit of a diary kind of memory vlog that I'm making of the journey of the things that I do. So I have some videos that are coming up about the workout and obviously, I mean, I could mention a little bit that just staying in shape is a, and being healthy is a very important aspect of life and you shouldn't completely disregard it. So I guess it will always stay relevant regardless of the content. You might be doing any type of the content, but I guess if you are not really concentrated on your health, I think you are missing out some key aspect to great well-being. So workout videos are coming. I'm working on them. They're like, because I'm making them in terms of the long process videos and yeah, that will be out soon on the channel and some other videos too. I mean, also, I don't know how can how much can you hear me, but on the background, there's some singing going on. I'm actually not entirely sure what, what's going on. So hopefully the microphone is not picking it up as much as it could and yeah I guess this would be roughly me covering the channel and the topics that I'm doing so it is a good practice to have some kind of unifying theme across all videos and have uh, a niche in this way this is what I don't think I want to do. I just have a lot of things that I want to share and maybe just rewatch them later on down the line. Just in a way it's like that. So don't be expecting one particular niche. If it's like just art, probably it's not going to be just art. It's going to be things connected to it and interconnected. I, Cause I think it all comes down to the art of living rather than the expressive art or like the paintings and anything and like a sculpture like a limited form of art it, it it is everything essentially this is the tea that i'm drinking the whole ceremony is the art of drinking tea and it is coming down to the little details and if you are able to distinguish various processes you can understand that actually everything is a form of art if you make it so and i guess like that you kind of become aware of things and it is in your consciousness that you understand that actually yeah life is art in every move in everything that you do and you just have to be present it's about being connected to the moment of now 
which I guess yes could sound a bit cliche but this is extra important and regardless that you have to think for the future and also remember the things that happened in the past just being present in the moment and in the now is extra important and being able to understand what is happening around you how things are happening because sometimes it's not important exactly what you do but how you do it how you do a certain process how you do a certain activity it could determine you as a person you could be really down to sharpening a knife but just be completely absorbed in this process and make it a form of art and uh, expression of yourself that's why the Japanese culture is so amazing like they're able to pass on their skills of sharpening knives for generations and people just keep mastering these type of skills and I just think this level of attention to detail is super crucial to the way we perceive this world and I mean I do admire a lot of the Japanese and the Asian cultures because I think they do understand these kind of processes and thinking behind that are not rushed, that are super concentrated in the moment and just being absorbed in some kind of way which I do think lots of European cultures are kind of missing out in a way almost wanting to escape and uh, that's what I'm trying not exactly I'm trying not to do this maybe I happen to be doing it at some point but just being multi-present and uh, being in a way in the moment I guess is important the whole point is to I guess inspire others maybe this note inspires you to do something that you've never done before or approach in a different way it's just this inspires you to think about some things maybe you've not thought about it maybe even try tea maybe even try uh, Chinese tea like I'm doing like who knows because I think I don't know exactly a lot of people who drink Chinese tea but I just think it's absolutely great and it's a great way to almost ascend and uh, relax with your mind and actually connect with the moment of now as I've been talking because you're just present in this calm atmosphere and it doesn't matter where you are really this is just your own sort of space and your own wave it settles you and even though like I'm here in this you could normally call it a busy place but it all comes down to what you think about this whole thing and uh, for me I'm sitting here completely comfortable I really don't mind what is going on on the background and understandable that some people for some people it might be very annoying and you would want to be sitting in a bit of a quieter place but having a tea ceremony around here I think in the right mindset is completely possible and it's super great plus I mean personally I just really like this space I like Tate Modern I think it's a magnificent building and a great edifice of architecture and anyways this will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, note of philosophy, I guess, and we'll uh, talk about the channel and the content that I'm producing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming. There's a autumn review, which will be coming soon. I'm gonna be moving to another city, so there will be content from another place. Um, I will show you later on how is this going I think there's a lot of interesting content coming out and yeah like the video share your thoughts in the comments if you agree with some stuff that I said see you in the next video goodbye guys